Okay, everyone, uh, this is uh, Khaled again with the uh, another uh, video on OnStep. Uh, so I just wanted to show you the, the entire uh, setup uh, where, while it's still light out and uh, uh, tell you what the, what the components are. So starting by the mount, this mount is a, um, a Vixen SXD. Uh, which I bought used and then uh, I changed the servo motors inside with uh, steppers that have uh, 18 to 1 gear heads and uh, there's a tiny board inside here okay and out of it comes two RJ uh, uh, RJ45 Ethernet cables these are the flat ones which can bend easily okay and they go down to the uh, controller box which is uh, still a cardboard uh, box that I waterproofed with uh, with some tape on the outside on the inside it's uh, it's an STM32 the board that I designed and uh, Dave Schwartz uh, helped me with it um, so uh, nothing fancy and uh, basically I, I have here the uh, uh, power and the ground and the PEC sensor which goes out to an audio cable uh, so this is a 4-pole, 3.5mm uh, audio cable that goes into the same board in here and inside there's a 3144 sensor, hall effect sensor which uh, uh, with a magnet uses the, uh, uh, the senses the, the beginning of the warp rotation period. And then I have an old laptop here, uh, this is a, a Dell. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's from 2011 or something like that. I happen to, it happened to be my, my main uh, machine until, uh, my main desktop until uh, recently. Uh, nothing fancy on it, just the, the USB on the, on this side is the, uh, the mount. Here is the, uh, uh, the camera. And uh, the camera is uh, just a, a Canon uh, DSLR. Uh, nothing uh, special it's not modified or anything and there is a um, uh, an adapter that goes into a two inch thing this thing is basically uh, uh, makes the the focus longer than it should be so instead of one two six eight it's uh, it becomes one three zero nine uh, this is considering that I have a reducer here which is 0.63 I think uh, if I remove this then the focus uh, the, the focal length would be uh, 2032 which is the native the native uh, uh, focal length of the uh, uh, the, cel the the optical tube which is a Celestron uh, C8 uh, with extra bright there's a there's a bracket here for a separate DSLR in case I wanted to take uh, skyscapes or uh, wide angle or something like that uh, that's the way again it's it's a used scope that I got and I also got this uh, dew tube here uh, so it's a dew shield, it's made by AstroZap and it goes to a separate controller here okay that I made uh, based on a dimmer uh, uh, that I got from eBay for uh, a few dollars, two three dollars or something like that and then I, I added this uh, uh, RCA out and uh, power, power supply uh, this is a, a a basic hand controller it's not the smart hand controller uh, that that I uh, that I uh, that I have it's just used for when I'm doing alignments and uh, things like that so basically uh, what I do is I you know to, to center a star or to uh, uh, use the MP command colon MP command from uh, um, on step uh, it, it, it basically you, you do a three star align or, or more three six nine whatever the, your controller can do and then uh, uh, you tell it to uh, uh, you, you center it on a star okay I do it using using plate solving and then uh, uh, what I do is that I tell uh, when I issue the MP command the mount will move to a uh, to where it thinks the star should be and then if I if I use the alt and as uh, controls which are the which are these knobs here if I only use these to center the star, then I should be better polar aligned. Now it's it's not perfect, but uh, it's better than anything else that I have at my disposal, including the uh, um, uh, the uh, 
the polar scope that is in here. So this came in with the, with the polar scope, but it's 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 kind of very vixeny. Uh, it's it doesn't use an hour angle. It doesn't allow you to use an hour angle or anything like that. Uh, it it has its own thing uh, that it can be used with, and I found it that it's it's very cumbersome. So I use that other the MPE method, okay. And using plate solving uh, saves saves a lot of time, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't take take a, a lot of time. Now on this laptop I have uh, K stars and the Indy driver, and that's about it. So you can this is the the entire mountain here, and we're waiting for the sun to go down. And it's uh, it's equinox, so it's the longest day of the year today. Uh, an odd odd choice for. Uh, uh, doing astro and the moon should be up by uh, I think 20 minutes past midnight so it's not an ideal night but uh, uh, we can be choosers here in, uh, in the Great Lakes area the, the weather is kind of uh, uh, unfor uh, uncooperative with the for the for the astronomers so just wanted to show you the, the whole thing and now what is missing is an, an auto guiding and I looked into the um, you know what what people are using and basically what they are using is uh, minimum of uh, 450 to 500 dollars and it's not it's not the, um, the kind of money that I want to spend right now but uh, other people in on the list uh, uh, someone converted an uh, CGE mount and he's getting amazing uh, exposures he can do up to 10 minutes exposures something that he couldn't do with the same mount uh, before converting it uh, to on step so uh, uh, anyone who's, who's who's a bit handy can can go ahead and uh, and uh, use on step here. It it's really worth it. Uh, so um, uh, clear skies and uh, uh, enjoy.